hey, uh, just wanted to show you around my Catalina 25. It's a whole number like 1,000, like 80 or something. I mean, it's got the layout that's got um, the seating area, like the kitchen table here, the dinette, that's got the couch here. And then it's also got, if you look, I can show you here too, it's got the like the, the bunk back there. And then as you work your way around through the cabin, <laughs> she's, she definitely looks like she's posing. It's got the like, um, toilet there. And then the uh, front area, which has got some luggage in it. It's okay though. Basically, I've taken the um, all the electric and I put it into the uh, back uh, compartment back there. Uh, I can show you what we have. I can show you what we have for controls inside the boat. This is bilge pump. We've got a uh, battery monitor there, some 110 outlets, cabin lights, deck lights, steaming light, classic running lights, LED cabin lights, radio, refrigerator, inverter, and then up here is my tricolor on the mast, and it is either uh, up for anchor and down for tricolor sailing. I've got a Garmin, like a really cheap 541S uh, chart plotter, and it just gives me like my depth, but we're in like thousands of feet of water. So that's got like my stuff I use when I'm sailing, and I can show it front or back. Down here, I've got uh, another chart plotter that I mounted. This one's great, like if I need more detail on where we're going, I can zoom in, and you can loosen it and, and tuck it back in. Tuck it back in when you're not using it, or you can bring it out all the way and turn it to the cockpit. Got the, uh, the uh, plug for the uh, 12 volt. So it's made by this company, and um, I tried to mount it with like sticky tape. If you disassemble it and take all the parts off, you can take the top off, screw the top to the uh, roof, and then reassemble it under there. So you can have like a hardcore screw mounted uh, 12 volt plug with two USB ports. I've got the 12 volt refrigerator that's got a compressor in it, and I used to have the dielectric cooler in here, and it uh, uses a slightly less uh, amperage, but it runs all the time. This one will stay at whatever temperature you set between zero and 60, and it only is on about probably five to 10 minutes an hour, so it's actually using way less amperage than uh, anything else. For sound, I'm running like uh, I'm running like this old, this old Fusion uh, one and inside. It's got like an old school iPod that I put off of and then um, it runs into uh, some Yamaha speakers over here. And then you know, I've got some Yamaha speakers out there on the solar rack. And then in back, I've got a, uh, like a, a mounted subwoofer that uh, turns this entire compartment into basically a, a, a case that amplifies the bass and throws it out here and makes it um, the bass super <laughs> loud in the middle of front of I got this little window right here, so that when you're like hanging out, so you're hanging out, you can open this up. Like if your kids are sleeping down here and you're running the boat, you can open this up and say hi to everybody outside. Hi girls! Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> I've got a solar panel, 165 watt, that's on this like custom made uh, case. What do you see? Dolphins. Oh, uh, dolphins. And then I've also got a Logic Autopilot back here that runs my uh, boat for me. I've got my mounted fold down ladder, so if you fall out of the boat, you can drop that down and climb back in. But down here is my electrical compartment. It's also got some plastic ammo cans that have all of my um, uh, repair parts and more gadgets probably in there and tools and things. Oh, yeah, here's the that's the Plagic uh, main controller. But generally, I've got a remote on my belt that allows me to control it. So I can like give it a few degrees and it will control it for me. And it will keep a, uh, it will keep whatever compass heading that I want on there. Uh, so if you want to put a cooler back here, this is the Yeti 45. It, it fits in here perfectly. This is a great little Yeti accessory. It allows you have a drink holder right there for your uh, cocktail or beverage, non-alcoholic drink. Uh, back here I also have these clip-on drink holders, which are pretty good if you need, if you like you need ghetto in a pinch. You just can clip on anywhere and uh, you've got that going on. I've got the Magma stove. Uh, when I run the boat, I've got the uh, inboard controls right here. Allows me to raise the motor, lower the motor, and do my throttle. And it's kind of a mixed bag because it does give you like really easy uh, electric start and stop options and allows you to um, control the throttle here. But um, if you're in a uh, low speed and you have to turn the boat, it's really tricky because the motor's fixed and I only have the, rud the uh, rudder handle, tiller handle, I guess it's called, the smart selling people. 
and uh, not quite as easy to do. So, but I don't know if it's the right for everyone because in close quarters navigation, it's a total mess. I've got my fire extinguishers here. I've also got a quick release fire extinguisher there. It's a mount that I found on Amazon. It's just like grab bowl and you have your, your fire extinguisher. It's rock solid in there when you're not using it because I care. Get all these strings out of me. Because I care about my friends. Keep the fire extinguishers in places where you can stand upright and reach them. Up on the uh, solar rack, I have all my life jackets. So the last point of the boat that's still up in the air will be that life jacket rack. I've got some uh, Maxim instruments that show me uh, temperature. I think the humidity's off a little bit. I gotta fix that one. Barometer, I live at 3,000 feet, so when I come to sea level, it's all jacked up, but. This thing makes the boat smell good, my wife says. And then we've got a, uh, a two burner stove made by Partner Stoves out of Idaho. That's the thing that always blows water into the boat. We haven't wrapped up the towel. I'm sure what the deal is with that. It's lots of water in the boat. It's a little wet. So we've just got a regular toilet here. That's a pump toilet. And then it goes to a holding tank if we need it. And then uh, pretty basic. This area needs to be fixed up. Uh, we've got this little area down here my wife likes her shoes. It's kind of her dumping area for all the stuff she wants to keep out of the middle of the boat. I don't know if you can see the blue light coming up out of here, but it's controllable to whatever color you want with a uh, remote like this. You can change it whatever you want. If you want red or if you want red, you can dial it in, whatever you want it to. And it makes this really killer uh, lighting in the boat. And if you buy these things off Amazon, they're called like strip lights, LED strip lights. The adhesive on those isn't good enough to last in the boat. So you need to buy like a 3M adhesive to put on them. And then when you stick them up, they will last forever. Uh, these have been up here for uh, two years. Okay, another feature of the boat I like is if you need a place for the drink holder. Or even a cell phone. It's great. It's like the number one used drink holder in the boat. You can buy these um, bottles that fit perfectly into the racks. So you can put in here like your sipping rum, you can put in here your Bacard Limon, and they fit perfectly. They're uh, Luxon medical bottles that you can buy from like, 375 milliliters up to like maybe like 750 milliliters. And they hold all your stuff perfectly along the line they might need. Seriously. Game changer. Oh, what some people want to see though, I have a pop top. And I also have like a uh, traveler mounted over the pop top. And you can bring the pop top down and make it work with this uh, traveler. What you need to do is, is you need to pull these two uh, struts off and then you drop those down and then you tip the uh, pop top and slide it under and then lay it down. It's kind of a two person job to do that. Bungee cord that runs the bottom of the boom. It's got little hooks on it. So when you get to put your cell away, they're all pretty much there already. And just pull them around and put them on all the way up. It makes it so you can quickly and easily put everything together. It's not quite as pretty as some people do things, but I'm about gadgets and not about pretty. I like function over forward. And it functions really well. It's fun. And my friends still love me. Like um, some hex to make our uh, stay covers. Nice. We've got a Harkin roller furler on here. On the very front, we have a Rockna uh, ten a kilogram anchor, a, uh, anchor roller. I've got that on there, and um, and they tell you not to drill a hole in this to make it mount, but I did, and so I guess I'm just a bad person. Oh wait, up on the top of mast too. Wait. Oh wait, I got this connector here. This is like the nine pin connect connector I told you about. It allows me to control the uh, LED light on top. It allows me to control the deck light and the steaming light. And um, yeah, I guess those are all the lights I have up there. So anyway, that's what's up. Hope you uh, <laughs> enjoyed the tour of this boat. If there's anything I missed, let me know. Comment down below if you have questions. And then uh, uh, subscribe to me if you can, if you're interested at all. I'll see more about my boat and stuff we do on it. And then like the video. My, my YouTube channel is all over the place. So you have to just kind of get used to kind of an all over the place YouTube channel. About generators and about drones.
own work and stuff. So my friends think it's funny. They <laughs> might just get over it really fast. Anyway, so good. So yes, if you're into a gadget intensive boat, then um, this boat has those gadgets. And if your boat has more gadgets, then this will be you know, because I want to know what other gadgets could fit on here without sinking it. And here's this like thing you can buy from Yeti. It's the best thing ever. It's, oh, it's right. It fits right in 